a very good morning here from Blackpool Airport. I'm not at the Pleasure Beach today. I am indeed here at the airport, just near Johnson Way, next to the Illuminations Depot for a rather special visitor coming into the airport today. Now, back in 2014, the last ever Boeing 737 with Jet 2 left the airport as the airport terminal closed down forever. But today, as you can see in your shot now, we've got a 737 coming back to Blackpool Airport. Now this is the first one since 2014. It's come from over towards Italy way, down that way somewhere. And it is just touching down now here at Blackpool Airport. There it is, there's the 737. Now, as I say, back in 2014, obviously Jet 2 and a few years before that, Ryanair did use to operate that type of aircraft out of here. But yeah, the airport terminal closed down and then flights and then planes went elsewhere to Leeds, Manchester and obviously uh, Liverpool as well. But we only tend to get these little smaller aircraft you can see waiting to out onto the runway now. But yeah, it's good to see. The 737 now back at Blackpool Airport. So what I'm going to do, we're going to head over to where the terminal was, which is over uh, that way somewhere. And we'll get some shots of it all parked up at what was the terminal, which is now the Blackpool and Fowl College. Here's a look then at the back of the aircraft. Obviously from this angle you can get a better view of how tall that rear tail is obviously the rudder but yeah there's a better view of the reds as well as i say it's g dash s h r s obviously that isn't the official terminology of how to say a registration but yeah i don't know the other type of the alphabet where it goes alpha bravo charlie stuff like that i'm not too sure in a lot of the letters but yeah here to see look at the back of the aircraft but yeah, we'll head to the other side of the college, which is where the old airport terminal used to be, and wrap up this little video of the 737 now back here at Blackpool Airport. Right, I've made it down to the college. This is where the former airport terminal used to be. It just used to stand just here, but now it is a college. Bit of a shame, really, because obviously you would come out, head on a plane like that, and go to wherever you'd like, wherever Jet 2 was flying to at the time. But yeah, look a bit closer through the fence. And yeah, look at that for a shot. Who would have thought a 737 would be back in Blackpool Airport? You can still hear his engines are still rolling. But unfortunately, when the passenger flights did end, a lot of the equipment, like the stairs and obviously the tugs and the uh, suitcase trolley, like the, them trolleys that would pull it and the tugs pushed the plane, a lot of them obviously were sold off because obviously we don't need them. So yeah, they've got this temporary set of stairs, I would say, or like a lift thing on the back of a lorry, just to get the crew and the passengers or whoever's on board, because I don't actually know what it is. Is it a cargo flight? Is it a passenger flight? I don't know, because obviously there's not any windows on the side of it, and that normally indicates it's a, it's a cargo flight. So yeah, but it is just good. As I say, it's the SM37 back at Blackpool Airport. I am going to have to talk quite loud over that bloody little plane making such a racket over there. But yeah, it is absolutely speechless to see one of these uh, aircraft back at Blackpool, obviously the Boeing 737. I think it's a Dash 8, but I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, as I say though, 2014 was the last time we saw one of these with Jet 2 Airways, but they used to operate a Dash 3 version. So it's differences the Dash 3 and the Dash 8, just the length suggests the Dash 3 is slightly shorter than this one, but it's still 737 nonetheless. 
Uh, obviously, it's sad not to see a 747 here. We'll never see a 747 here. That's obviously my favourite aircraft. God, that plane over there is loud. It's just leaving, I think it's the uh, fuel pumps over there, but my God, is it loud. Uh, yeah, as I say, the 747 would never be able to land here. The runway is never going to be strong enough for that. And obviously, I don't think there's enough room to land one anyway. The max they can get here is a 757, which is obviously just slightly longer than this one. But yeah, speech just to think. And there's one of these on. No, there's another, there's another one starting up there over there. Every time I'm trying to talk, there's another one starting up. Yeah, it's just speeches to see one of these aircraft back at Blackpool since 2014. Uh, this specific aircraft it is meant to go out again on Monday. Uh, I'm not too sure what time the takeoff is, but because it's bank holiday weekend, I'm not working on Monday, so I should be able to, once I find out the time it's leaving, to head down here and see it taking off. But yeah, that's going to do it for today from this landing of the 737. As I say, not too sure what it is, what the company is. The reg on the back, it is G-S-H-R-S. But yeah, I don't know if it was passenger or cargo. So yeah, 737, back at Blackpool. Well, that's it from Blackpool Airport. Obviously, I'm not at the airport now. I'm back at my usual place. I'm back at the Pleasure Beach for Good Friday. Spending a few hours on park today and then 12 hours on park tomorrow because it is the park's first 10 till 10 with fireworks event of the year. But yeah, massive shout out to Blackpool Airport. The crew down there are absolutely fantastic, especially for allowing me to come on uh, site, get up to that 737 up close. And also a tour around the whole airport itself. But yeah, uh, I didn't film a lot on site because obviously I didn't want to get in the way of them one. Also, there's a lot of confidentiality on board and air, uh, like an airport complex. So yeah, didn't film a lot, but I did get a few shots, as you just seen, from that 737. But yeah, I'm heading out to Pleasure Beach. That's going to wrap up the airport video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to. And of course, give the bell a tick to be notified for all upcoming videos. And of course, give us a thumbs up as well. But yeah back in the Pleasure Beach for a few rides on the big one. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video, which will most likely be an Easter video from here in the Pleasure Beach. Experience of vertical